Hey guys, welcome back sa isa na namang basic C++ tutorial. So this is part 15 and for today we are going to talk about structures versus classes. So maybe narinig nyo na yung structures na to or mas kilala siya as struct sa ating C++ language. But you know guys, ang structures and classes may pinagkaiba yan. So kung hindi nyo pa alam guys, yung structures galing yan sa C language. So, sa C language siya kinuha ni C++. So, sabi nga, yung origin ni C++ is from language na C. So, in-upgrade lang si C, kaya naging C++. So, yung structures kasi, so, ang C language isn't meant for object-oriented programming. But, gumagawa sila ng way para maging object-oriented programming yun. Meaning, yung structures aren't made for object-oriented programming. But as time goes by, nung nabuo si C++, in-implement din nila si structures. And halos pareho na lang sila ngayon ni classes. So, ang pinagkaiba na lang nila is si structure, by default, public siya. And si class, by default, private lahat ng variable dun sa loob. So, naalala nyo naman yun. Pagka-class yung ginamit natin, kailangan natin gamitan ng public modifier. So, i-define muna natin kung ano si structure. So, structures from geeks for geeks. So, ito yung ano nila, explanation. So, creates a custom data type that can be used to group items of possibly different types into a single type. So, para nga siyang class, para nagiging isa siyang object, kaya gumagawa tayo ng sarili nating data type. But ang pinagkaiba niya, sa C kasi, bawal magkaroon ng object functions. But today, in our C++, in structures, pwede natin magkaroon ng object functions. So, para mas maintindihan natin, let's look at the code for structures and classes. So, let's go to code blocks. So, guys, um, same syntax lang sila ni class. So, as you can see, guys, meron tayong struct student here. Meron din siyang constructor. So, in the C language, hindi siya possible. But in the C++, ang struct and class magkapareho lang. And by the way, guys, sa C language, wala tayong class. So, dito lang tayo sa C++ dahil object-oriented programming si C++. So, in-upgrade nga si C. Okay? So, yun yung pinagkaiba ng C++ sa C. Okay? So, ayan, as you can see, we have here the same syntax as the class. Iba lang yung keyword, struct, then yung pangalan ng struct natin, which is student, then may attribute siya na string name, and then in grade level. So guys, meron sila parehong constructor. So ito naman si class human, meron din siyang constructor here and then meron din string name and int age. So ito yung pinaka difference niya guys. So 'di ba, sinabi ko sa inyo, pag wala tayong constructor, pag gumawa tayo ng human. So tanggalin muna natin yung mga constructor natin. So as you can see guys, plain lang siya na struct and class. So, wala silang constructor. So, ang kailangan natin gawin is mag-declare tayo ng isang student. Diba? So, student s1 then s1.name equals something. So, lagay natin dito um, Timmy ulit from the last episode. And then, si human. Gawa tayo ng human. h1 h1.name is equals to hello. Hindi siya hello. Tim. So, save natin. If we try to run this, guys, makikita nyo magkakaroon ng error kay class. Pero kay struct, wala. So, why is that na merong error kay class but sa struct, wala? So, as you can see, guys, when you look at the error message on the build messages below, nakalagay, string human name is private. So, kanina nga, sinabi ko, guys, ang default ni class is private lahat ng nasa loob niya. And ang default ni struct is public lahat ng nandun sa loob niya. So, what we need to do, guys, is to put public here first, di ba? So, lagi kong pinapaalala yan. So, pag gumagamit kayo ng class, lagi may public sa taas para ma-access. So, if we try to run this na, wala na siyang error. So, yun yung pinagkaiba niya kay struct. So, yun lang talaga yung pinagkaiba ni struct kay class, guys. So, tapos na yung tutorial natin. Joke lang. So, <laughs> ayan. So, same nga sila. Pwede sila magkaroon ng constructor. Ibalik natin lahat ng constructor nila. Ayan. So, ayan yung constructor nila and I need to put public here para gumana. So, as you can see guys, same lang sila. If I try to make a student, student S1, then we need a name, Timmy, and then grade level, grade 7. And then, we need a human, H1, then we need a name, Tim, age, 16. Save natin. If you try to run this, makikita nyo hello and hi. 
Kasi pag akong gumawa tayo ng student, meron siya ng constructor na magsisi out ng hello. Eh, meron naman tayong constructor sa kabila na magsisi out ng hi. Okay, so yun lang yung pinagkaiba ng struct and classes, guys. But, bakit nga ba kailangan natin ng struct? I mean, but meron pang classes sa ating C++ language. So guys, note lang, recommended na gamitin si struct pagka wala kayong object function. So meaning, kunwari, gagawa lang kayo ng book. So let's try this. So struct book. Then we just need a um, bunch of data types here. So string author, string title, int pages. So yan lang yung kailangan natin. So we don't need any constructor, any we don't need any object functions right here. So ayan lang yung kay structure. So yan yung original na gamit niya kay C. So in the C++, pareho lang sila ni class, but para lang malinis yung code natin, I explain to you kung ano yung pinagkaiba ng struct and classes and when to use struct and when to use classes. So gagamitin niyo lang yung struct guys pagka gagawa kayo ng simpleng uh, simpleng object na wala na hindi naman kailangan ng object function like this book. So, kung gagawa kayo ng something katulad ng student na uh, pwede silang mag-introduce sa sarili nila, pwede tingnan kung owner sila, that's when you need a class kasi meron siyang mga object function. So, guys, yung struct nga, pwede nyo pa rin lagyan ng object function but that is not conventional. So, alam nyo, yung conventional kasi guys, so by being conventional kasi, so originally this struct is made for C and not object-oriented programming. So, kung gusto nyo pa rin gamitin yung struct, no problem. I just explained ko ano yung pinagkaiba ng struct sa ating class. Okay guys, so thank you for watching this video. Ito lang yung tuturo ko sa inyo. And again guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.